We're excited to welcome you back to school. I'm Mr. Tuft. And I'm Mrs. Daywalt. We are going to take a few minutes to show you what to expect when you return to school. If your child is a bus rider, he or she will need to have a completed bus rider attestation form every day in order to get on the bus. These forms can be found online on the Balfour website on the Important Info for Families page. There will be a monitor on the bus to ensure that students have the attestation form and to help maintain social distancing. When bus riders arrive at school, they will walk in a socially distanced line under the breezeway like always. At the main entrance, they will undergo a health screening before entering the building. Students will have their temperatures taken and be asked the following questions. Has your child had close contact within six feet for at least 15 minutes in the last 14 days with someone diagnosed with COVID-19 or has any health department or health care provider been in contact with you and advised you to quarantine? Does your child have any symptoms such as fever, chills, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, new cough or new loss of sense of taste or smell? Or since they were last at school, has your child been diagnosed with COVID-19? Car riders will arrive in the car rider loop as normal. A staff member will take the student's temperature and administer the health screening before the child exits the vehicle. Anyone who registers a fever will be directed to the van rider area to have their temperature taken with an ear thermometer before they are allowed to enter the building. Car riders will enter through the gym and proceed directly to their classrooms. Dots and signs have been placed in the hallways to help students remember to maintain social distance. Students and staff must wear a mask at all times in the building. Breakfast will be served in the classroom as it always has. Lunch will look a little different. Meals will be delivered to the classrooms and students will eat in the room. Students will not be able to drink directly from water fountains, but are allowed to bring water bottles that can be refilled at the fountains. Staff will not be able to assist students with opening lunch items to avoid cross-contamination. Please be sure that if your child brings lunch from home, that all items are easy to open. The district has adopted rigorous cleaning procedures to help ensure the safety of all students and staff. The entire building will be disinfected at the end of each day. In addition, any items, equipment, or areas that may be shared will be disinfected after each use. Much planning and preparation has gone into preparing for students to return to the school building. To help families understand all of the changes, the district has put together the Ashboro City Schools Reopening Guide for Families, which can be found on the district website. We hope this helps you understand some of the changes we have made to ensure that all students and staff are safe while at school. We look forward to seeing everyone back soon.